Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me again today. I'm back with a new layout for the Paige Evans design team. And our theme for this week is monochromatic. And as you know, there are a ton of colors in Paige's gorgeous collections, but I chose to do purple. I know purple is one of those colors that people tend to shy away from, but I wanted to challenge myself to do a difficult color. So what I did was I went through mostly, I believe actually all of the Take Me Away collection and picked out papers with purple on them. And I'm going to use these three pictures of my daughter. These are actually recent pictures just from um, back in February. And she was swinging and she just looked so cute with her little braids and she just, I love those pictures. So what I did was I just went through and picked out any paper from the Take Me Away collection that had anything purple on it. And I'm going to do a lot of fussy cutting here. And I'm going to fussy cut out some of these uh, these windows. And I don't care what shape it is. Uh, I'm just going to try to create something with all this purple. And I really love this cut apart sheet. I'm going to use these 3 by 4 pieces here. I'm not going to make you watch me fussy cut all this out because as you know, fussy cutting is not exciting to watch. So I've got several things cut out and now I'm going to take the time and cut into this gorgeous hexagon paper and I'm going to cut out all the purple ones because I only can use purple. I don't know what made me, what made me want to use just purple but um, or not use pink or yellow. I just wanted to do something different. So this is the paper that I'm going to use as my background. I think it is beautiful. I have all of the numbers of these papers written down. I believe this paper is number 15. And I'm going to do sort of a vertical design. And I'm going to add lots of paint to this. So I'm going to use some white gesso here with my palette knife and just sort of create a vertical cloud of white. And it's basically going to coat my paper and it's going to protect it for when I start to add all of this stuff. Now, since I cut out those hexagons, I was kind of inspired to do some more hexagons. So I pulled out this very stained and well used hexagon honeycomb stencil that I've had for a long time. And this is some Shimmers Pasties and it is the purple color. Of course, I can't think of the name of it off the top. Don't be a pansy. That's what it's called. And I just wanted to create sort of a messy, artsy looking background. And I'm going to have different shades of purple because there are so many different tones and shades of purple that it, it, it's hard to, you know, match everything perfectly. And so I think that's the beauty of a monochromatic layout is to use different t tones and shades of that color. So I'm going to use my heat gun and dry that. And then I decided it was a little dark. So I'm just going to go back over some of it with the white gesso just to kind of fade out some of it and in the end I'm gonna actually wind up covering up most of these hexagons and that's okay because the more I go here the more they kind of look like circles and it's just gonna create some texture and it's fine I like how it um, sets a, a base for what I'm gonna do now so these are also creamies and I just knocked that one over this is what happens when I get too much too many things on my desk and I get to going and I just get careless and I knock things over and spill which is bad because you don't want to waste the paint. I've got an aqua hues here, a shimmers inklings and a shimmers creamies I believe. Just different shades of purple. Some of them have shimmer, the aqua hues does not and I'm just mixing and matching mainly for color here. Uh, I wasn't necessarily going for shimmer but I just wanted different shades of purple on the background here and I'm going to splatter, I'm going to use the packaging, I'm going to use the brush and you know the beauty of this technique is that it's supposed to look messy and it's supposed to look kind of artsy and abstract and random and so you can't really mess it up I don't think and I, I think it's a lot of fun and it's a great way to get that really cool watercolor splotchy look down. So this is obviously a darker purple. That's the the aqua hues and it's uh, more of a grape colored purple I guess 
is what I would call it. And of course, once this dries, it's going to be a little bit lighter. And then once I add everything back on top of it, it's going to look totally different. And I know sometimes I think this is what's intimidating about mixed media is that when you're doing it like on the background, like I'm doing here, it just looks like a big old mess. And it looks like that quite frequently. And don't panic because once you start to add things back on top of it, and some of it gets covered up, it looks totally different. And so don't be afraid to just get messy because things are going to cover it up and it's gonna totally change the look of it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and back my pictures with some tissue paper here. I do this a lot. It just gives it a little subtle border around the edges in addition to the white. I print my photos at home on a very old HP PhotoSmart printer. So I can kind of just click and drag and size them to whatever size that I want. And the software that comes with it automatically prints that little white border with a shadow around it. I've, a lot of people have asked me how I do that. And I really don't, that's just how it prints. And I can't get rid of it. And I've come to really like it, but yeah, I don't do that on purpose, it just happens. So I'm just fussy cutting the insides of these little frames out so I have extra pieces to use and I'm just playing around here I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna layer all of this stuff because a lot of it is random you know I've got the windows I've got some labels I've got some tags I've got those frames but everything is purple so I'm just experimenting and as you can see the nature of the design being vertical in the center is going to cover up a lot of those hexagons and I think it's fine. Um, I really just was starting to build the background with that and see where it went and it didn't bother me that they got covered up. I actually kind of like it that they did get covered up because there's plenty of other stuff to draw your eye to instead of the background. Even though the background does look pretty I have to say. I like how it turned out. But what I did discover is that once I put everything on the center, I really couldn't see hardly any of the paint. And so what I'm gonna do, go do now is go wider on this vertical design. I'm gonna keep adding and going a little bit more out wider so the whole center of it is expanded. And that way you're gonna be able to see it because what's the point of doing all of that if you can't see some of it, right? Okay, this is some foam. I use this a lot. It's just this foam, fun foam that I get from Walmart, and it's uh, adhesive on one side, and it's perfect for adding dimension to your layouts. And I use it on embellishments. I use it on pictures. It's great, and it's the perfect width or height, I think. So now I'm going to start to play around with some thread. I've got three different colors of purple thread that I'm going to start to layer in. And I'm not sure at this point if I'm going to stack my photos crooked like that or if I'm going to line them up perfectly. It all kind of changes as I go. And she actually, in the pictures, she actually had on a soft purple shirt but there was so much green in the background because she's swinging in our backyard and there is a bunch of um, green uh, bushes and things behind her and it just it took away from the purple aspect I think by adding that green even though the products weren't green there was green in the photos so I just took that element out and printed them in black and white and I think it's really pretty because it really stands out against that soft background. So now I've got everything kind of sort of like I want it and then I'm going to add back in these little hexagons and they're very subtle. You know I knew that they were going to match that background pretty closely and they're just going to play a very subtle role in the layout. They're not going to distract or take away from anything but they do make great little layering pieces. So I'm going to try not to move anything, but I'm going to continue to try to add some thread. I've got like the dark purple, then more of a, a bluish purple, and then a light soft lavender color, which I don't think I used that one. And 
And the tag that I layered in under the middle photo that says, Hello You, it actually did have some pink on it, but I got that part covered up so you can't see it. And in the end, I'm going to wind up going with the Hello You as the title. Um, I just felt like anything else would be too big. And I like the subtle look of that Hello You. Now I'm very carefully going to start to glue everything down. I don't want to even pick it up because <laughs> it will... I, 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 yeah, every time I go to do something like this, I always wind up hitting something and knocking the whole thing to where everything moves. And so I'm trying to be very careful and just add a little bit of glue here and there, just enough to get everything to where it will stay put and I won't mess it up because I will never remember exactly where it went. And I'm not going to glue the pictures down yet because I do want to do a little bit of machine stitching using those same purple threads. And here's where I did it. I just did some straight stitching and then I did a little bit of zigzag stitching on each of those frames just to give it a little something extra and to add more purple. And so now the background is staying put and now I've just got to figure out the photos. And I think I'm going to make them a little bit crooked. Um, I don't want them to be too nice and neat. Now these are some sequins I've had in my stash for a very long time. I bought them from an on online store several years ago that I don't even think is in existence anymore. But I love that purple color and I don't get to use them a lot. This is also from the Take Me Away collection. It's those epoxy metal clips, and I'm just going to tuck that one under there. It's got a cute little heart. And then I have two purple buttons from Take Me Away. And again, they're just random, but then everything on my background is pretty random. So I'm going to find a little home for these two buttons because they're purple. Now here's where I jazz something up and get a little creative. Um, I wanted to use these fancy free silver glitter thickers, but they're silver. So what do I do? Gelatos to the rescue. Did you know that you could do this to these thickers? Scribble on top of it with a gelato and smudge it in. And then you have any color or any color thicker that you want. So I'm going to use the XO and now they're purple. Yay. I was so excited when I decided to do that because I really wanted to use those, those thickers, but they weren't the right color. So I made them the right color. And gelatos go on those perfectly. They rubbed on and now you would never know that those were silver. I love how those turned out. I was quite excited. And I wanted to use one of those big purple or uh, <laughs> silver words as a title. But I didn't really have any place to put it. And I felt like it would just be too big and too flashy. And I've got so many tiny pieces going on. I thought I wanted to just keep everything else kind of tiny and small. And so that's why I'm just going to keep the title hello you. And I'm just going to make sure that everything is glued down. I'm going to add a little more thread because, you know, you can't have enough thread. Now I'm going to pull out some sequins. These are from Spiegel Mom Scraps and they are different shades of purple. I'm going to add a couple more just to add a little bit more purple elements to the page. And the final thing I'm going to do, I couldn't really decide what to do about journaling. I just wanted to add a couple of sentiments about how much I love her and how much she loves to swing. And so I just printed out a couple lines on my computer and then I'm going to just glue those down in random little spots there. So I didn't really think I could find a place to write. And I had so much gesso and stuff on the background that it just didn't work. But there is my layout. And I'm so excited how it turned out. I really love all the purple. It's very uh, stormy here today, so I had to really work hard to get a photo of this. So hopefully you can see all the nice purple. But I love all the different shades, the darks, the lights. It was a lot of fun. And it, even though it was challenging to do purple, I'm glad I did because I love how it turned out. I think it's really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did here or any of the products. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.